Hi, as you can see, I'm standing in front of the apartment buildings and I am thrilled to be with Rachel Harder. Now, Rachel Harder was, is a member of parliament out of Alberta, I believe, and you were elected in 2015 and it's thrilling to work with you. You work very hard, well respected. And um, why did you run to be a member of parliament? And um, you are really strong on, uh, on women's issues and uh, would you recommend other women consider running as a member of parliament? Sure. Mark, thank you. I, I, ran, I ran because of my passion for community, my passion for my country. And, uh, and I was at the time, I was doing a lot of traveling across Canada and working with many different people groups. And just, just this love for my country and its diversity just arose in me. And I re recognized that I had a passion and I needed to act on it. And that, for me, was running to have a seat in the House of Commons. Would I recommend that other women do the same? Absolutely, Good. absolutely I would. Uh, we need the talent, we need the perspective, we need the brilliance, we need the uniqueness that women bring to this place. And so Canadians do deserve to have women representing them and so I would encourage women to run. And you have uh, all those attributes and uh, very well respected. Now the Thank Prime you. Minister has, has uh, described himself as a feminist and um, I don't think he is, but uh, you actually have been uh, experienced some of the wrath of the Prime Minister and, um, and discrimination of the Prime Minister. Could you describe that, what that was like? Sure. So earlier this fall in committee, I was removed from a chair position. And the reason that was given to me by the Liberals who walked out on me and then later voted me down was because I didn't, and I quote, represent the views of all women. And so it was interesting to me that this mandate came from the Prime Minister for them to walk out on me and then to vote me down uh, because I was, as the Prime Minister said, a wrong choice. And so it was interesting that the Prime Minister, who claims to be a feminist, felt he had the ability to dictate to Canadians what a right choice is and what a wrong choice is. Because at the end of the day, the message that he's sending from coast to coast is that there is a certain type of woman that is acceptable in Canada and there's a certain type of woman that is not. And I just think that's such a sad message to send to, to women and to girls who are growing up in this country and aspiring to do many different things with their lives. So uh, you, you are doing a great job representing women uh, all, of all walks of life uh, and you are reasonable, you discuss all issues, even the controversial issues. And uh, so maybe the uh, Prime Minister needs to rethink his positions. But thank you so much uh, for the work that you've done.